Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Busted on hot mic. CNN caught a revealing plan to sabotage Trump on live TV. We knew it. As reported previously, CNN's Jim Acosta was an utter embarrassment at the North Korean summit, shouting out questions at President Trump and Kim Jong Un. He just would not quit. Kim ignored him and President Trump actually answered his questions, which is far more than he deserved if you ask me. And it gets even worse. Acosta was caught on a hot mic bragging that he purposefully disrupted the historic peace summit in an act of pettiness that just boggles my mind. It was done out of revenge for not being allowed to sit in on their denuclearization meeting. Just juvenile. He really needs to have his press credentials pulled permanently. Acosta justified his actions this way, hey if they're not going to let me in the effing meeting, that's what happens. That's the way it goes, baby. That should earn this hack a final kick out of the door at the White House and to be told not to ever bother coming back. Breitbart's Joshua Kaplan posted the audio on Twitter. Acosta didn't even bother denying he said it. It's obvious he made the comments. Disgusting. As I said the other day, while the world collectively held their breath during the historic signing of the denuclearization agreement between Trump and Kim, Acosta shouted out, Mr. President, did we agree to denuclearize? Trump answered and Acosta had the nerve to shout an even more insulting question. Did you talk about Otto Warmbier, sir? Trump did discuss human rights with Kim, but the media spun it as if he didn't. After that outburst, Acosta stepped way over the line and yelled at Kim, Mr. Kim will you give up your weapons, sir? No answer and I'm not surprised by that either. Why should Kim bother to answer some rude American reporter? President Trump's 2020 campaign manager, Brad Parscale, had plenty to say about Acosta's disgraceful behavior. He tweeted that Acosta's press credentials should be revoked. Amen to that. Acosta violated the first rule of journalism, he is far more interested in making himself the story than reporting on it. Parscale has nailed Acosta before and rightly so. He also said that Acosta's press credentials should be stripped after he trolled President Trump when he was interacting with children during the White House Easter egg roll. I think the White House should pull his credentials because he yelled questions, as he continues to do at inappropriate times, while the president was coloring books with children, Parscale tweeted in April 2018. Disrespectful, and would have never been allowed previously, Acosta has been a flaming embarrassment from the beginning. He's always harassing White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders during her press conferences and he tries to embarrass President Trump every chance he gets. You don't see real reporters acting like this. None of the people from Fox News act like this. Every time it happens, it's some leftist media hack. CNN's Jim Acosta, April Ryan and a number of others hate President Trump so much that they are determined to make a newsworthy spectacle every time they get an opportunity. These are politicized media attacks and should not be allowed. Remember that Acosta was the one that got President Trump to label CNN as fake news in the first place. From BizPack Review Since President Trump took office, Acosta has repeatedly hijacked high-profile meetings and White House events in his desperate bid to become the day's viral YouTube sensation. In June 2017, Acosta played the You Ignored Me card when he accused WH Press Secretary Sarah Sanders of not calling on him even though there were many other media outlets at the press briefing besides CNN. In December 2017, Sanders shut Acosta down when he repeatedly interrupted her as she was trying to reply to his question. Like his CNN colleague April Ryan, Acosta has thirstily raised his public profile by attacking President Trump and his aides and using the WH press briefings to draw attention to himself. In January 2017, Acosta rudely interrupted President Trump during one of his first press conferences since taking office. Trump shut down the CNN clown in epic fashion when he quipped. Your fake news. Acosta hit back at President Trump's 2020 campaign manager's call for his press credentials to be revoked, saying the practice happens in dictatorships, not democracies. Dear Brad. Dictatorships take away press credentials. Not democracies, Acosta tweeted at Trump campaign manager Brad Parscale on Tuesday. First off, we are a republic. Second, you are allowed into the White House press pool at the president's discretion and it has always been that way. The reason you haven't seen credentials revoked in the past is you haven't seen this kind of rude behavior before. Yes, there is freedom of the press, but that does not mandate that a hack like Acosta be allowed to cover White House press conferences. If he can't act even remotely professional, he should be barred from attending. Acosta also defended his decision to shout a question at North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un while in Singapore and said the world would have thought less of the White House press corps if reporters stayed silent.
I couldn't think of anything else to ask North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un, but whether he's going to give up his nuclear weapons, he said Wednesday on CNN. There's a dictator right in front of you who has nuclear weapons. Why on earth would you not ask that question? He asked, the question I have is, if you play the same video of him walking past us with President Trump, and you turn the sound down, and the reporters covering this trip didn't ask any questions, what would the rest of the world have said about the White House press corps, if we hadn't asked any questions of Kim Jong-un when he was right in front of us? He asked. He's threatened to vaporize parts of the United States. My goodness, I could not have thought of anything else better to ask at that moment than that question. There is a time and place to ask those questions and a peace summit is not it. The world sees a reporter like Acosta and then think that all Americans are rude like he is. They aren't and he makes all of us look bad. President Trump is about to drop the hammer on this guy, pull his credentials and send him packing. The rest of the CNN gaggle can join him. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.